Well, after the Maharashtra political tussle ends, the rebels finally reach home. The Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Eknath Shinde, along with his rebel MLAs, have arrived in Mumbai after a 10 day stay in Goa. The governor has called a session on the 3rd and 4th of July. The Mahavikas Agadi has fielded Sena MLA Rajan Salvi against the BJP MLA Rahul Narvekar for the Speaker's post. Uddhav oh, Thakre expelled Shinde from the party for indulging in anti party activities. The Shinde camp has threatened legal action against Shiv Sena if they don't reply to them. Post the rebellion by the Shinde camp, Sena has also asked office bearers and local units to file an affidavit at the Shiv Sena headquarters, which is asking them to follow Bala Sahib's ideology and have faith in Uddhav Thakri. Sanjay Rod, meanwhile, has lashed out at Shinde and BJP and said that the chief minister is not a true Shiv Senic. I'm 70 plus. I'm ready. 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 i am Mustafa Sheikh is getting us more details. Mustafa, in fact, all the action now once again shifting back to Mumbai city because this special assembly session has been called. Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow will be crucial days as far as the political stability of the new government in Maharashtra is concerned. Definitely, Sna, because uh, speaker's election is due to happen tomorrow, tomorrow being a Sunday. Uh, there, are, there are two candidates, so elections are bound to happen. And uh, remember that what also has the needs to be cleared is that uh, this government has been formed on the basis of the rebellion in Shiv Sena, which means that Shiv Sena, uh, one with the Uddhav Thakke faction and the other with uh, Chief Minister now Ekna Shinde's faction. There will be a whip which will be issued by both the factions. So, and it's likely that this entire episode will go to court and in whose favor it will be decided. So, there are a lot of legalities which still need clarity at this point of time because the majority of the party of the Shiv Sena MLAs is going with BJP, but the party chief and few MLAs are still with Uddhav Thakre. So, in these cases, what does one really do? So that is something we'll have to wait and see and how these things progress. And also, you rightly said, this, this two days of assembly session will prove whether this government will be stable or not. It will also prove whether there can be any law and order issue in Mumbai because uh, the Shiv Sena workers were on roads last week and they were demanding action against these rebel MLAs who have now reached Mumbai and soon they'll be going back to the various uh, constituencies. The, the chief minister is also faced by, you know, the, the killing which took place in Amaravati. So there are different uh, issues which are uh, you know, coming up for the state. We'll have to wait and see how these things pan out. Back yes, to sir, we have the problem of drains and we have this huge issue which has, uh, in fact, put the spotlight on the law and order situation in Amravati, like Mustafa was telling us. I'm going to go across to Vidya also for more details on that story. Vidya, there's going to be a big challenge before the newly appointed Chief Minister. When it comes to these issues, he's already, in fact, taken a series of meetings when it comes to the rains in Mumbai and Maharashtra, because that year after year throws life out of gear in the city of Mumbai and this is something that the new Chief Minister will have to handle along with the BMC. Well, of course, uh, though, uh, you know, flooding in the municipal area is a civic issue, but, uh, uh, you know, flooding in general uh, across Maharashtra does create a lot of problems, uh, though, uh, as of now, as Mustafa was pointing out, uh, law and order, and especially like the Amravati issue, is certainly huge, uh, because of which uh, these meetings, uh, apart from, uh, you know, the cabinet meetings, this particular meeting here, where I'm standing right now at the hotel, where the BJP and the revolting Shivs and MLAs will be meeting, that also becomes crucial because here there could be a lot of discussions with regards to who gets what, how, how, do, how to take this forward. You know, all those discussions uh, will be taking place. Of course, uh, the speaker uh, issue, you know, the deciding of the speaker, how to go about voting, the, you know, the barest minimum, every detail will be told to every MLA so that nothing really goes uh, wrong on the D-Day. Uh, but we are here outside the hotel. The, you know, I, if I can just show you, uh, right here is the hotel where uh, 
the uh, chief minister deputy chief minister devendra fadnavis is already here with the bjp mlas and they are all waiting here for uh, the uh, the mlas to arrive who could arrive here any minute now uh, you know so they have already crossed uh, most of the area in mumbai uh, half of the area and they'll be reaching here any moment now uh, so it's right here after they reach that the meeting will really start which could actually give a way uh, you know a show a way as to what the new government would probably form uh, be like but deputy right. speaker, the speaker's uh, election certainly is the foremost on the mind of these mlas okay who is going to be the speaker is a big question here yeah, because that is going to give us an indication about the tug of war and in which direction things are headed yes it's going to be a struggle and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow are extremely crucial remember fourth is a trust vote and tomorrow is a special assembly session that has been called how is eknath chinde going to keep his flock together and that is a big question before the new chief minister of course for the takre is a battle for the legacy of bala sahib takre i'm thanking my colleagues mustafa sheik and vidya for getting us all of those details